Rocky Mountains are known to have some of the best skiing in the world and Banff National Park is home to the big three, three world-class ski resorts which include Mount Norquay, Sunshine Village and Lake Louise. And we're here at Mount Norquay to start it off. We're going to show you all three in this video. But Mount Norquay is the closest one to Calgary and the closest one to Banff. It's the smallest of the three, but it's known as the more family-oriented ski hill. It's a little bit cheaper as well. And it still has amazing runs, whether it's green, blue, or black, and some of the most beautiful views in the entire park. So we actually have our own skis and ski equipment, which is very helpful when you are skiing a lot. But you can rent skis here as well as take ski lessons at any of the resorts. And today I actually have my new goggles and new pants, so I'm going to be looking sharp. This is the map of Mount Norquay. As you can see, there's a bunch of different chairlifts. We've actually never been on A. It's pretty extreme, a lot of uh, double blacks and things like that. But we usually go on C, D, and E. And basically, you go up this one. This is all the green runs. So whenever you see green, that's pretty easy. So if you're a beginner, you would stay in this yellow zone and the green ones. But we always come to the end. We're actually right here right now, getting ready to ski down. This is our favorite because it's a nice combination of blues and blacks. So it's nice for Carla because she's intermediate. It's also nice for me, some blacks. But the blues are a lot of fun too. You can go faster. We had a great time here at Mount Norquay. It was pretty much to ourselves. There was almost no people. Yeah, I know. And now we're off to the only ski in and ski out hotel in all of Banff National Park. wonderful day has been. We had a wonderful day skiing in Mount Norquay. Then we came to the Sunshine Lodge to sleep for the first time on the top of the mountain. Then uh, we went into the hot tub to relax our muscles and there was bingo so we won a chocolate each. <laughs> and now we're here roasting marshmallows to do some s'mores. How did you say it? Marshmallow. <laughs> Marshmallow. 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 Like marshmallow. Marshmallow. It's morning and we're here in the balcony of our room. We just had breakfast and pretty much we're ready to go skiing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be the first ones, although we might be. They open in about 15 minutes. They're right behind us. And But what's cool about Sunshine is that it has 120 trails and it gets more snow than all the other resorts because of how high it is. So that's why they, they remain open about a month later than any other resort. Plus you have the chance to ski in two provinces here on the Continental Divide. So you actually ski a little bit into BC and a little bit into Alberta. So it's a pretty cool resort and we can't wait to get started. Clears up later, but it's kind of cool though. You're just kind of skiing into the abyss. I'm a little bit afraid <laughs> because I'm not a pro yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, let's go. We're about to get on the Great Divide Express. This is one of the nine chairlifts here at Sunshine. But this is the one you want to go up if you want to ski the Continental Divide, which means you ski in two provinces. Wow. 
what not to like about Sunshine Village? So seriously, one of the things that I like about this ski resort is that there's so many runs and they're so wide. So you have more freedom to turn and it's very good if you're a beginner or intermediate and you wanna get better because you have so many options and you're not too afraid that someone is going by you. So I must say that I'm very proud of myself on this day because I'm going more blacks than ever. I'm in a black run right now. And yes, I haven't fallen down so far. I finally fell and that's because I took the wrong trail. I'm I think in a double black, which is full of moguls. Matthew is, is doing okay. But I've been sliding down pretty much half of the mountain because I'm too afraid. <laughs> and I already lost one ski, so. Well, <laughs> I guess it's part of the adventure. Another bonus of sunshine is one of the chairlifts. This one, the, I think it's called the TPXL, has heated chairlifts. Yeah, so the seat is actually heated. And then you have this beautiful windshield which blocks you from the cold wind so it really makes a difference it's a big so difference nice. <laughs> all the chair leaves should be like this one i probably have a nap here if i sprawled out <laughs> on the last run of the day and the weather completely changed it's, com it's completely cloudy and it's, it's snowy <laughs> and we wish we were in the heated chair which is right on the left hand side well, we can see it but yeah can't feel it so this is our last time on top of the great divide express and we decided to actually ski out yeah so one of the other special things about sunshine is you can either take the gondola back down or you can ski all the way to your car which is kind of fun so we gave them our bags they're going to bring those down for us and we're going to go down the fun way Last but not least, we're here at Lake Louise Ski Resort, which is my favorite ski resort in the Canadian Rockies. This is the biggest of the three, and one of the biggest ski resorts in all of North America, with about 4,200 acres of skiable terrain, spread out over over 140 runs, which is why it's my favorite one. There's just so many runs on the back side, the front side, there's that gondola that takes you up to another chairlift that brings you up to what's called top of the world, and it really does feel that way because it offers some of the most spectacular views in all of Banff National Park. The front side of the mountain so we're on the grizzly express gondola going up to right there so we can either come back down the front or if you want to head straight to the the other side called larch and go down there as well do some blues if you want to get extreme we can enter the bowls the back bowls we got a lot of black diamonds <laughs> no maybe that one for later <laughs> i need to warm up first Even you're 
not scared, you can still take the gondola up to enjoy the beautiful views. And we actually see some tourists here without any skis. Too bad that it's cloudy right now, but hopefully we can show you the view later. I can believe that it's lunch time already. Time goes so fast when you're having fun. But one thing that you should know is that all the ski resorts have restaurants and a cafeteria where you can buy food. But we usually bring our own food because this way we can save money. And they have microwaves where you can warm up your food. So let's eat. After having a delicious Mexican lunch, <laughs> we're now on the Glacier chairlift heading up to another chairlift called the top of the world and that's because you feel that way when you're on top like you're on top of the world well it's almost the end of the day and luckily the clouds have moved enough that we could show you a little bit of that spectacular view we mentioned earlier we hope you like this video and the introduction to Ski Big 3 and the three ski resorts in Banff National Park. We also happen to be here during snow days, so if you check out our next video, it's all about snow days in Banff. So if you like this video and you like Canada, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.